Yo, what's up guys, it's Arfidio, welcome back to another video, so guys, today, oh, today, we're not playing on a VIP server, because that's my second time losing connection, well, that's great, I see a cow in the distance, do you see it, I see it, I see him, but anyways, so, today's video is not like every other video, I mean, it is like every other video, but it's not like, you need to just, stop, upload another game, then upload this game, and then it's like, yeah, game, um, yeah, so this video we're gonna be, I'm going to be, me, only me, not me, but, wait, me, I am going to show you how to build that big old looking tree thing, you know, the cool thing, there we go, so now I got my inventory, so, I'm gonna teach you how to build like one of those big willow trees, and then maybe I'll teach you how to build like some of those trees, maybe, maybe, maybe. Today is going to be the big willow whipping we weeple whipple wallow tree. So you're gonna have you're gonna now you don't have to copy mine, you can copy it if you want to. But yeah. So you're gonna wanna kinda start with how big you want your tree. Depending on your island size, depends on how big of a tree it is. Because you're gonna have your roots that are gonna extend out. So you could start let's see here. Let's say let's do that big. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make make a square. And now you've got your square. Now you wanna see how high you wanna go. So we can go about this high. And I'll make a box basically. So you kind of want to make a box. So you'll have something like this going. And then you're going to kind of want to go up. You know, do randomly. So the goal is not to use a lot of wood on this. So let's go something like this. And now we're going to kind of get a root outline going. So now we got that gone and out of the way. Now you can fill it, which is going to basically be just slightly filling it in. Now you want it to make it have like a mountain shape on it. So it end up turning like this. And then what we're going to do is make it look pretty even ish like that. So that would be one side of the roots for, you know, all the sides. And you're probably like, that's a pretty big root for, you know, this trunk. The trunk? Trunk? Yeah, for the car trunk. Um, and the trumpet gate to, I cut that out actually. Um, so go ahead and just fill it in. Ish. Go ahead and um, fill this in. And basically once you have your roots done then you can kind of move on to the next part So now that you have your trunks done to the way you like it, you can obviously make it look a little bit different. So that's how, this is how mine have turned out. And 
now you're going to want to move on to building the rest of your trunk so you're going to have to kind of decide how high you want to go with it so you can go really high you can go kind of high you not go high at all so now you're going to want to go about Depending on how big your tree is, depends on how high you want to go up. Because you don't want your tree to be too high, but you also don't want it to be, you know, too small. So I'm going to go up about 4-ish. That should be enough. And then, after you've done that, you know, let's go up 5. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go like this. You're going to want to make it look like it's got some bark on it. Now make sure you left some room down here so you can do something like that. Just to make it look more round. And then you can break these edges, which I did on the bottom part right here. I broke the edges. So like something like this. And then basically follow it up like that. Something like this and like that basically you want it to start looking like a volcano that's also too high let's see let's make this down and then make this part go down like that to make sure it's not even up top so make it down one so then it you know doesn't match all the other sides because you want every side to be different looking if it looks the same it doesn't look natural so now you can build up one more so I'll do five again now you can obviously you know you can break these sides down to make it match you know break the tree a little bit so it makes it more like a cylinder but that's kind of like a frame is what you built those you know this these walls are basically a frame so now I just gotta make sure it's all filled in so there's no openings and then I'll move this down like maybe two on the side one on the side so you'll end up like this it's not perfect at all it's not supposed to be it's just your trunk so now that you have like a perfect trunk ish now you want to get your branches so you can make you know you can make your trees have autumn leaves and just you know make dried bamboo blocks your leaves but for this one I'm just gonna make them green so let's make some branches so let's go out over and then let's go over do something like that something like this Now you want to make these branches connectish, connectish. That's a word. It's a word now. Make them kind of connect to the tree itself. Now you want to make it so it doesn't look perfect. So add like second liner branches because you want to make the tree come up to a peak you don't want it to be flat so something like this should be good so like I said you're gonna get this really messy look it's gonna look really jank but now you have the hard part out of the way now you can move on to the easy part which is obviously making the leaves so you're gonna want to make it two out so two out from each 
So this is kind of hard in a way, depending on who you are and how you do it. But you usually want to do two. And like I said, it's depending on how big your tree is. And then basically make it not look so blocky and so flat. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby. So basically, you kind of want to do this whole entire pattern for the whole entire tree. And you can obviously, you know, work on down here, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic downward so it's not so flat. And then you can also, you also want to leave wood out. So you want to make sure you can still see some wood. So after I am done with this, we'll finish on and detail the rest of the tree and make it, you know, give it a little bit of a back. Also remember that you don't have to make it perfect. I mean, obviously no tree is perfect. So, you know, making it look a little bit, you know, uneven and off centered, you know, maybe adding, you know, dead branches, you know, that could really add to the tree. So it's just a little, you know, little tip for you right there. When you're, you know, building is you never want anything to be perfect. So now that your tree is looking pretty decent, you can kind of move on to the finishing details, which is making the tree form together. So obviously you want to add some leaves down here to, you know, make it look like the trees together and the branches don't separate it because you want the tree to look, like I said, want to make it look as real as possible. So basically forming it. Now obviously you can go low with these like right here you can do some like right here maybe like one right here basically you want to like make it look decent it just kind of adds to the leaves so it's not just leaves it's actually more it really adds to the tree so like that and then we'll add one in the corner here you go and that makes it look like a forest or a rainforest tree so now you got that done you pretty much have the tree done now you can add you know a little bit of details to it so let's go ahead and add I bought wheat seeds for this reason is to add right there you know add them in like the cracks and crevices because it acts as like dead grass in a way so put some like right in here and then let's throw some right here throw a little bit and there you go there you have it and as i fall off the island but there you go there is basically your tree it's got your roots once the you know the dead grass ish is grown around it it'll start to look really good but you have your vines hanging down now obviously like this part right here you can like buff out like it looks a little too much there you go but like if something looks if it looks too blocky you know you want it to be perfect then you can obviously edit that and make it look good so get the skeleton going and then kind of warp it to how you like it and then build it up into a cone and then make your branches and branch it off and then basically make your leaves and surround the wood with it but don't surround all of it so you want to be able to still see the you know the wood because it makes it look like you know there's branches in the tree so you guys have it a tree literally a tree 
save the trees, stop the fires, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!